G'day guys, in this video we're just going to briefly go over the four main ways of measuring the money supply in Australia. So the amount of money that is in the Australian economy can be measured as four different monetary aggregates and which one you choose to use depends on what purpose you have in trying to measure the money supply. So the first of these is currency, which is all the notes and coins in circulation. In other words, this is just the cash that people are holding in the private sector. It does not include cash being held in banks, just the cash being held by people and being used in transactions, you know, between firms and households. We then have M1. Now M1 takes currency and then just adds onto it the current bank deposits from the private sector. The term current is just referring to those bank deposits that are of a fairly short-term nature. So this is short-term bank deposits. Money held in the bank that is expected to be withdrawn fairly soon. For example, term deposits with very short maturities on them. A measure like M1 can be useful if you're trying to get an idea of the amount of money that is being actively used in the economy, the amount of money that is actually being used 